Three Chefs, One City is in San Francisco. And you could call this city a lady with a colorful past. This offbeat metropolis has survived tragedy, seen gold rushes, and helped define a culture in the psychedelic 60s. A city that, to this day, holds on to its history and artistic diversity like a badge of honor. No food artist stands out or fits in here better than food virtuoso Dominique Crenn. I'm Chef Dominique Crenn, and this is my San Francisco. Look at this. Look at this beauty. This is my San Francisco. Chef Dominique, I have a great idea. Iron Chef competition, you and me, cooking here at Parallel 37. What do you think? You know, you're the new kid on the block. I might kick you ass, you know, but like, come on, I'll give you a chance. <laughs> Every neighborhood in San Francisco has a few of its own boutique coffee shops. A great place for a latte and a chat. Action. It's coffee shop like this that makes San Francisco an amazing city. Energetic, cheeky, creative, and bold. When it comes to Dominique, the first rule is to expect the unexpected. This is, this is a good coffee, man. Very good. Chef Dominique Crenn stands out as the only female chef in North America to have earned two Michelin stars. Winning even one coveted Michelin star is always a dramatic moment in a chef's life. I found that I got two Michelin stars by a phone call. I was in my car, I just finished an interview on the radio and, and I got on the phone and the ladies told me that the restaurant was our two Michelin star. And, I think I, I cried, so it was, it was lovely. We feel very honored to be recognized by the Michelin guy. I think it's, uh, it's, it's close to my heart because I grew up in France and I think Michelin has been a big part of my life. Chef Dominique, with two Michelin stars, how does it feel to be a celebrity? Being a celebrity chef to me is, um, I think it's a funny word because I think when, when you use the word celebrity, a lot of people idolize you know, that person, but it's also dangerous in a way that we have little kids that are looking at us thinking that we are the gods of something, and we're not. It's, it's a very um, difficult job to do. It's long hours. Um, you got to be humble. And um, I mean, I appreciate, you know, to have a platform. So now it's for me or others to use that platform in a good way. Atelier means workshop in French, and Chef Dominique's restaurant, Atelier Crane, is aptly named. A destination dinner that should be booked at least a month in advance. I was looking for a space that speak to me and speak to my vision, and I stumbled on that location. I spent some time inside, and I just love the calmness and the quietness inside when you literally sit inside of the restaurant. It was pretty matching what I'm feeling about life and the world. I have to dip my bread inside of the coffee, it's very French, so. I wanted to create a space where I could tell my story. It's a workshop, it's, a, it's, it's like life is a workshop, you know, you learn every day, you try to do your best every day, and you create things every day. And that's what Atelier Crane is. I guess this is like an artist space where, you know, there's an empty canva and you just paint, you know, whatever you think it's the right story for you. A poet in life, a poet in the kitchen, Dominique is a unique soul. Food is art. Sexy. Dominique, you're so inhibited. You really need to let loose. Okay, so we're gonna do like testing for uh, the team to, right now. So uh, this is abalone. We got them this morning, abalone. See that, that dark stuff here? It's the liver, we made a liver batter, abalone liver batter, so it's gonna be cooked inside. We're gonna cook it in water, and then we're gonna finish in the Japanese grill. It'll be amazing. Get out of the way, this lady's cooking. So good. I wanna surround myself to people that might not have a lot of experience, but have their own experience that can enrich me and, and, and the vision of Atelier. Dominique's team is like family. I'm uh, someone that um, want to be inspired, but also like to inspire. So it's kind of a little bit different uh, setup than most of the restaurants where you just hire people with like a huge resume. And then I don't do that. I just hire people with the feeling that I have with them and where they come from and 
their story and uh, the passion and, and, and what they can bring to me that would be just a learning experience for me and then I hope that they can learn from me also. So that's how we work. A Meal Here is a constantly changing gourmet event curated by Dominique and her team. We're going to start with uni. It's going to be one set. So in a bathtub, you have a sunshok uh, puree. I find my inspiration outside um, nature, um, theater, movies, people, hanging out with people, traveling. Um, Anything that uh, speaks to me doesn't have to be about food, it has to be about life. You guys are going to bring that to the, to the customer like this, and then you, you're going to bring this to the customer and they're going to eat, okay? Sounds good? Nature is beautiful and nature presents itself in a beautiful way, so we need, you know, we need to be like paying homage to nature, you know, yeah, of course. Presentation is everything. Is that food or art? You can't drop in on San Francisco and miss the beach. Dominique can often be found at the beach, dreaming up her next gastronomic work of art, or chasing her little dog, Maximus. Woohoo! This is Alcatraz! The beach is important to me. I grew up, um, I spent most of my childhood at the beach and in Brittany. And um, what I love about the beach is the water, is, it's quite mysterious. I don't think any human can get an handle or control, you know, the sea. And, and it's, it's unpredictable, and I think that's what I love so much about um, the beach, you know. Ah, the beach. This is Alcatraz. It used to be a gel. You know what? Maybe this is where the bad chefs should go now. Up next, it takes much more than one man to build a restaurant empire, and Chef Michael Mina is going to tell us all about it. Michael Mina, I mean, honestly, come on, you need to come down to my place and have some food. Dominique, I hear l'atelier means workshop, and I've been there, and you definitely work. you got to come here, relax. 